Well, as you may have noticed, I've been working on my secondary impression, the Gebirgsjager, and it's coming uh, along quite well. Latest equipment that I got the other day are these vintage crampons, Italian made. Uh, they're very similar to the original uh, German ones. I know they're Italian made since they both have stamping on the metal and also on the rubber cover for the spikes. I'm not sure what year they're made, but my guess is late 40s, uh, even in 1950s. But then you see a little bit change in design later on in the 60s and 70s and when they start to use aluminum more. Little backstory about these, I've been looking for original German crampons for quite some time now and I was willing to pay a fair amount of money for them. But the problem was always with the size. I wear size 46, 47 shoes, and for my boots, it's close to 47, 48. Well, that's about 12, 12 and a half US size. So the German crampons that I found are just way too small. And I did not want to waste money on something I would not be able to use with my impression. So this summer I found on eBay these crampons, but the problem was that the seller did not ship it to Iceland. So with the help from a good friend of mine, a pencil soldier Eins, Marcus, uh, I was able to have the seller ship those to Ohio, to Marcus, and then he shipped them to me to Iceland. So thanks again, Marcus, for that. Well, the condition of these is uh, very good. A few areas of surface rust, but that's easy to remove. The straps are plastic, they seem to be in good working uh, condition. For the rubber cover for the spikes, I believe that uh, the originals, the German uh, World War II originals did not come with these rubber cover, but correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, so I'm going to be making a some kind of a cover, either from wood or put them, uh, place them in a canvas bag so I can uh, keep them in my bag, in my backpack. For the size of these, these are size 48 and they fit my boot perfectly. And this is how you would uh, strap them on. Uh, you will cross them over the toe For these, the ankle straps, you cross them over the ankle. But I've seen those that uh, have a longer back strap that you wrap around the ankle. But this strap is definitely not long enough to do that. And for this one, you have this metal harness in the back that fits into the grab back groove of the boot that also is designed for uh, snow skis or cross country skis. I'm going to see how these ankle straps hold up when I start to test these in the winter and see if I have to replace them with longer straps that I can wrap around the ankle, as I talked about earlier. It's not snowing yet, but coming this winter, I want to try these out on the ice in one of the winter hikes. A nice surprise, also in this package from Marcus that he sent me was this one liter canteen cover that Marcus gave to me. So thank you for that, Marcus. I have one from Hessen Antique, but they don't have the ornamented buttons like the originals have. I asked Marcus and he believes that this cover is from Hiki Shop. Uh, and you can see here the difference between the Hessen one and this one from Hiki. The color of this one is very close to original that I found on fjm44.com. Ja. 
This one does not have the leather strap loops. That would mean or indicate that uh, this is a medical canteen cover that you would place shoulder straps on for this kind of a shoulder strap system. I might put on strap loops and or make both shoulder straps and belt straps. So the next step is to find a usable original one liter canteen or a good reproduction one. I tried here to show my process for my impressions in these, uh, this kind of a video diary and I always appreciate good comments from people who have been longer in the hobby and are experts in some of the items that I'm talking about. So I hope you enjoy this one and as always thank you for watching and take care.